Let's go! Hi, I'm Breen. I'm the Director of Curriculum at Codable. This short video is going to introduce you to the concept you'll be teaching in this unit. Thanks for watching! programming, we often use the same code more than once. We can repeat actions, or we can add on to pieces of code to complete more complex tasks. Functions allow us to teach the computer how to do something one time, and easily reuse the code to do it again later. A function is a sequence of commands that can be reused together later in a program. Functions name a sequence of commands and dictate what code is executed. Functions allow for separation of code, making it easy for us to reuse it again later. Programmers often say, don't repeat yourself. You can think of this as an acronym to help you remember the purpose of functions. Keep your code dry. As people, we're always learning and building on what we already know and can do. We add to a foundation in order to be able to complete more complex processes in life. This is a lot like a function. We piece together basic actions in order to carry out more complex tasks. A great example of this in the classroom is crisscross applesauce. We piece together separate actions and name it as one, something that students will remember. Students learn it once and likely will use it throughout the year. Once students learn crisscross applesauce, we don't have to instruct them step by step every time we say it. Students know what to do when they hear it. This is the power and beauty of a function. Functions allow us to repeat a sequence of code without actually having to write the code over again. This allows us to simplify a complex action into only one command, just like our crisscross applesauce example. During the final part of each function's lesson, students will independently practice identifying patterns of commands that are used more than once in each of the mazes. In this example, students will see that more than one time the same pattern is used. Up, right, up. Knowing this sequence of commands will be used together more than once, we can create a function for it by using the orange function button and putting the three commands into one. Our code to complete the maze is shortened and we avoid repeating ourselves by using the function twice to complete the maze. We command our fuzz to go right we use our function, which is up, right, up. We go right, use our function again, and right. Instead of having to use nine commands, we only use five and we earn three stars. Just like this, we can teach a computer to carry out a sequence of steps for one action. We name it so we can use it later when we want the computer to do it again. For example, if we want to write a program that brings up a window that tells a user hello, we could write a function for it. Since there are two commands that the computer will need to follow in order to be able to carry out this task, a function will prevent us from having to write the instructions step by step each time we want the computer to perform this action. First, we name our function print and alert because that is what we want the computer to do and we'll need to use the name of our function when we want the computer to do it again later. Then, within two curly braces, we write in JavaScript what the computer does. The computer writes the word hello to the website. Instead of having to write the code each time we want the computer to perform this task, we simply call on the function print and alert, and the computer automatically brings up a window that says hello. With a function, our code is shortened from this to this. Functions allow us to teach the computer how to do something one time and then easily reuse the code later. Remember, don't repeat yourself. 